Hi, this is Christoph and Thomas from Pronovix, and in this demo I'm going to show you a prototype of a Drupal site that could be used for community-driven data documentation building. Um, I'll show you in short uh, a field structure and uh, how that would be useful to uh, help people to understand what the structure of your documentation is like. I'll talk a little bit about the XML editor uh, that we could use. Um, I'll show you a bookmarklet system that can that can make it easy for your users to submit um, documentation information from outside of your uh, website. And I'll show you a drag and drop interface based on our uh, mind map editor GraphMind um, that could be used for editing uh, data maps in a drag and drop way. Um, the first screen that you're seeing here is a data reference um, uh, implemented in CCK. And basically, well, what I've done is that I've taken the, the, main, um, the main elements of the uh, data reference uh, specialization type and I've implemented it, uh, them as fields, like this one, and field groups, like this one, with underneath fields again. I think that this, this has a, a lot of advantages because you can do things like um, showing people what is still missing, what are the things that they could still fill in. Um, you can give uh, good help text that's always there. So it gives people a better idea of, of the structure of the, um, docu the specialization type that you're working with. Um, another pot possibility would be to use just a text field and use an XML editor inside of that. But uh, I think this is the best of both worlds, where you, where you have sort of a um, mixed format. That's how a task looks like. Um, so you see task body, prerequisite context, steps, where we're using um, multiple steps. Uh, maybe we could even use some, some uh, default uh, values, stuff like that. Okay. One of the things that we can do with Drupal um, to make DITA even cooler is um, cross-references. Like DITA in itself is, well, it's meant really for, for very narrowly curated uh, documentation systems. Um, if you want to add a reference to another content, uh, to, to another uh, topic, um, you normally have to put it in here in uh, something like related links. But uh, another thing that you could easily do is to add um, keywords. And the idea is that with documentation systems, especially community-driven documentation systems, you're not always going to be able to predict what are going to be the related pieces of content, or, or not, not right away. It's not going to be obvious, especially if you have a really big body of documentation. So the idea here is to um, use a keyword system, where through keywords references, you can uh, lay links to related uh, information. And then those keywords can then be processed uh, in, um, in data maps or, or can just be used to add uh, related links into the content itself. It's not a bad idea to have a sort of master uh, hierarchy. Um, and um, we could either do that using the book system or we could do that just with a menu system in Drupal. And again, both these things could feed into um, a specific um, Data map. Originally, we were planning to make um, an RDFA WYSIWYG editor uh, and use RDFA to mark up uh, the uh, data XML structure. But after some further research and talking with uh, several people, um, we figured out that that would actually add a lot of workload uh, because you would have to add multiple um, multiple uh, XML items to get to the same. Uh, structure uh, that you would get with one item uh, with one element um, in detail. Anyway, um, what we're going to be doing is make uh, an XML WYSIWYG editor. Um, now you know, there's a couple of proprietary XML editors out there um, but since we want, really want to use an open source editor because we want the whole project to be open source um, we'll probably all have to build our own. Um, now we've done some preliminary research we think that's quite feasible um, so the, the next thing is the bookmarklet. Some bookmarklets are basically bookmarks that you can do to trigger a certain uh, JavaScript function uh, on your site. Uh, basically you can select a piece of text, 
click on the bookmarklet and it will go in and, and submit the, the title of the page, the URL of the page, the text that you had selected uh, in the, the appropriate fields. So basically this would be a way to let community members um, go and fetch pieces of, of documentation that are out there in the wild, be it on somebody's blog or um, on some other documentation, uh, and add it to the documentation repository as, as, a, as a reference. I think the biggest innovation that we want to add to, um, to DITA with our system is this. Uh, if you've ever heard of mind mapping, then probably you know FreeMind. Um, this is GraphMind. GraphMind is a Drupal implementation of um, FreeMind. So it uses the same XML standard, um, the .mm format, to um, store uh, a mind map. Now, if you look at mind maps, you can see that they're pretty similar in structure um, to data maps. Uh, data maps also have this hierarchical uh, structure, like an XML format, really. Um, and uh, basically, our idea is to, to use this editor, where you uh, can add hierarchies in Read Easy Weather, um, for, for, make, uh, for editing um, data maps. The cool thing is that for, for GraphMind, we've already implemented this interface where you can do a views query, uh, <clears throat> which is a, a Drupal uh, database query, to go and find elements from your database and add them into your map. So basically, you could make a, a view query for topics, um, use a certain argument. Now, this is a number, but this could also be uh, like a title, or um, you could get this automatically from the above laying element, and it will go and fetch the, uh, the, the um, topics uh, in your database that fit this, uh, this um, query. And it adds them into, into your map. Now, the really cool thing is that you can do this drag and drop thing. Um, so like this, and you can go and reorganize your map. So this would be a really um, user-friendly way of editing data maps, which is, I think, quite innovative uh, for, for the field. Um, but it doesn't stop there, because data, you, would, uh, you can expose this to community members, and people can go and make their own data maps. And every individual could have their own map um, that uh, exemplifies their learning traject that they could share with other people. Uh, and um, you, the, you, you can also use these data maps as um, a navigation structure, because if you click on this link, you go to the actual page uh, and, and, and a bunch of other things. You could also use this to make um, implementation-specific documentation maps. So for example, uh, when you implement um, uh, your, your project or your, your product uh, for a specific customer, you could make uh, a data map um, for that customer and uh, only in, uh, put those topics in there that are relevant for that customer. So and that's, uh, that's more or less it. Uh, thank you very much for listening.